Corman's Calamity, Season 2, Episode 13, Original Air Date, June 26, 1990. Jim Corman is an artist who works for the Tales from the Crypt comic books. His wife Mildred is very mean and belittling to him. Despite this, it's because she wants to have a child with him and forces him to take experimental fertility drugs. Hi, honey. Don't hi, honey, me, you pompous jackass. This is Saturday. When do you plan on coming home? It's not enough that you gotta draw these dumb cartoons instead of getting a real job, but you can't even keep your paws off the secretaries in this goddamned office. I should have known what a disaster this marriage would be. A stingy two-timing loser. You can't even give me children. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. I think it's affecting my brain. Good, maybe you'll do a decent day's work for a change. Side note, I think it's kind of funny that Mildred is dressed up like a literal clown when you first see her, and she's supposed to be this horrible hag, but in real life she was in Playboy in October 1979. And more importantly, she played Yvette in Clue. Holy sh**. <laughs> After taking said pills, he draws a picture of a monster coming out of a washing machine. Meanwhile, at a laundromat, Officer Lorelei is attacked and is saved by a creature. A creature that came out of the washing machine. Lady, if you think I'm no, gonna no, fall no. for that. No. no! That's the oldest trick in the book. Ah! After spotting the same monster on the cover of an issue of Tales from the Crypt, she decides to speak to the artist, Jim. Horror and hilarity ensue, and a bit of sweet, charming romance. It's all very over the top and very tongue in cheek, and makes for a fun and lighthearted episode that strangely works. I guess you could say it was sort of a meta in-joke before meta in-jokes were commonplace. And it helps if you love comics, monsters, horror comics, and horror monsters, and practical effects. Certainly not the usual kind of episode for Tales from the Crypt, but it definitely worked for me, and I give this episode an 8 out of 10. Very high, I know, but it's a one-of-a-kind episode, and I suggest you give it a watch. What the hell is that?